This is a demonstration of the PE Refresher course for Mechanical Engineering available to you from Professional Publications Incorporated at ppi2pass.com. This course is about the same that you would take for 10 weeks from your local university every Saturday morning for four or five hours except you don't have to go to your local university this course is going to be available to you streamed on your own computer and you'll never be late for class because class starts only when you're ready and at your computer and push the button the presentations will be well researched and very colorful and spirited the graphics will be animated to coordinate with the discussion. This course will not reteach your college education. Our only objective will be to have you pass the exam. Our objective will be to rapidly get you to be able to solve problems. And there'll be many examples given in our discussion with solutions that are detailed. There will be 12 presentations to cover the morning portion of the exam, designed to cover every discipline. Along the way, I'll give you some advice, and here's some. You're probably collecting all of your textbooks from college and putting them in a box and getting them ready for the exam. My advice to you is to get a commercially available reference manual like this one. It's full of all the concepts, formulas, and tables that you'll need. This book is designed to give you everything you need. You can pick one or two of your favorite textbooks, but leave the rest of them at home. We'll be using this book. I'll be able to show you which chapters are important and which ones don't mean much. I'll be able to cut this book down to a fraction of its size saving you time. I'll take you to the important tables and appendices in the book. There too, I'll whittle down the multitude of appendices to just a few. I'll show you the important formulas, how to use them, and where to get the data to complete them. Along the way, we'll have some fun. In thermodynamics, I'll give you the bad news that you'll have to learn how to use a fairly complicated graph. But then the good news is that once you know how to use this graph, the equations of thermodynamics become quite easy. For the afternoon exam, we have topics for all the specialty areas. Machine design, thermal fluids, and HVAC four sections for each one. And you can pick which of the depth section you want to study or study them all. We'll go to the appropriate depth for each of these afternoon sessions. For example, in machine design we'll study journal bearings, a fluid bearing, a hydrodynamic bearing, how to calculate the normal friction of the shaft using these bearings. And more importantly, we'll look at the performance indicators of these bearings, such as Summerfield number, and what those performance graphs are that utilize them. In the thermal fluid specialty, there is one section on fluid mechanics where we'll be extending our knowledge from the morning sessions into series piping systems, more advanced work with pumps, impulse jets, and drag on objects. We'll go into pumps in detail and look at the practical aspects of their specifications such as net positive suction head and of course cavitation. For the HVAC section, we'll take the psychometric chart to a new level. 
and show how it can size systems and define components. We'll cover everything that's needed, even duct design. This is the best review course you can take. It will give you a definite leg up on the exam. The course will take about 20 hours, but it's equivalent to 100 hours if you had spent that time on your own. This course will save you hours of study time and give you some capabilities you would never get on your own. Go back to the PEProfessor.com website and look for where to buy this program and I'll see you in class.